back, Truth TV, Truth TV podcast, Brandon G here with you, oh man, um, yeah, oh, what a day, it was Tuesday, mm. what a day it was, I man, you know, I don't have any um, Kleenex tissues here for me right for y'all right now, but I'm going to tell y'all it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I know everybody's upset. Uh, you, you have some people that are on suicide watch. You know, people about to jump off the bridge. People are crying, upset, losing their mind. Man. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. It is going to be okay. Okay. Now, Donald Trump won the election. And whether you like it or not, and before I continue, a full disclosure, I did not vote for Donald Trump. I did not vote for Donald Trump. I didn't vote for him. Okay, I'm here to tell facts. I'm here to tell truth. I'm not here to get emotional. So, you know, people are going to whine and complain, oh, you're a Trump support. Because that's what everybody does. And they're, they're, in, they're in their feelings. I didn't vote for the man. Okay, personally, can't stand the man. That's personally. Don't care for him. Okay? But... You have to admit, after everything he done been through, after everything, 30, I think it's 34 convictions, you know, got impeached and everything like that, after being shot at twice, this man made the biggest comeback in American history. He did. Now, I'm not going to play the crash out videos on this particular video. I'll do that another day when I, you know, go into statistics, the pop, how many votes he had compared to now and how many votes he had in um, 2016 when he faced off against Hillary Clinton. But he won the popular vote, and he won the electoral vote. And now he is the 40, president number 47, and a lot of people are just losing their minds. And I'm going to tell you why, in my humble opinion, why he lost. No, why, excuse, why Kamala Harris lost this election. You see, when Harris got endorsed, you had the Roland Martins of the world hosting black uh, voters, male black man voters summits and everything like that, did interviews, you know, talking to a lot of black people, Barack Obama was the biggest endorsement. You had a lot of people, celebrity endorsements. You had a lot of celebrity endorsements. You had the Cardi B's, you had Kelly Rowland, you had Beyonce, you had Megan Thee Stallion, you had Usher. You had everybody, everybody, celebrities, athletes, endorsing this woman. You know, everybody. Endorsing. And at the end of the day. Oh, and, and then wait a minute. Oh, hold on. You had the Ricky Smiley's of the world. The Steve Harvey's of the world. The Roland Martins. The Reese Colbert's. The Joy Reed's. The Angela Rye. The uh, Tiffany Crosses. Charlemagne, 
all of these people, Al Sharpton, you want to endorse a candidate? I got no problem with that. Endorser, do what you do. You know, you have that right to endorse a candidate. But the issue that I had doing this whole thing stemming from the last few months is the vile other disrespect towards black men. And that is the issue. You have Roland Martin calling people simple Simon MFers. You had Spike Lee chastising you. You had Joy Reid calling black men weird. You had other celebrities calling black men stupid if you don't vote for this woman. And see, that was the problem right there. You don't see Republicans going out there insulting anybody. They don't do that. But see, what happens is right now that if you have to you ask her a question or you sit there and challenge her on certain things, you are called every vile name in the book, and this is what happened. So the you can blame that is the reason why they lost. Because there was a vicious attack on black men every chance they get. Oh, you're an idiot. Oh, you stupid. Oh, you nuts. Oh, you, you get what you deserve. And, 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 and the videos yesterday. Oh, man. I've seen. Oh, Reese Cobra. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play her tomorrow because she had a lot to say. Roland Martin had a lot to say. Oh, I'm going to get them tomorrow. I'm not going to get them today. This is, I'm not going to get him today, but y'all had a lot to say. You had other people online on TikTok literally saying, and I'm not lying because I'll play it tomorrow. I hope the police kill black men because you didn't vote for Kamala Harris. Some of y'all, <laughs> I'm not going to say what I want to Some of y'all need help. Y'all will sit there and ride out for a person that you don't know, but will not do the same when it comes to some of y'all own family members. And to say that you wish that a police officer will kill a black man because Kamala didn't get in? Wait a minute. Well, at the end of the day, it wasn't that black men wasn't the reason why Kamala lost. Wait a minute. Y'all thought y'all had a black and brown coalition. And what happened? Oh, white women for Kamala Harris. What happened? White women voted for Trump. Latinos and Hispanics, they voted for Trump. So it wasn't all black men that caused Kamala Harris the election. Y'all did all this talk. Oh, yeah, we got the white women with us. Oh, you got the Latinos. You got the Hispanics and everything like that. What? Huh? What? They voted for Trump. And people have been saying for the past, you have no allies when it comes to other groups of people. You have no allies. But y'all sat there, oh, Republicans for Harris, oh, white women, white men, oh, yeah. And now that Harris lost the election, you have people saying, you know what? I'm not helping out nobody else. I'm helping out my own community. I almost fell. But I thought y'all had a black, black and brown coalition. 
And another thing. You can't and, and, and Democrats <laughs> this is I'm I, I don't I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat. I, I just I can't no, nah, I vote interest. I don't join I don't join a party. I've never been I've never joined a party. I haven't joined I've never joined a party. I've always done as an independent. And that's when I was old enough to register to vote. And I have voted Democrat all my life. So, I've never voted Republican. Never. But, y'all thought y'all had a coalition. Y'all thought y'all had other groups of people with y'all. And they showed they showed y'all who they aligned with. Yes, on Tuesday. They showed y'all who y'all, they showed, they, they showed you exactly who they were. And now you got Uncle Luke saying, oh, I'm not going to join with no other groups of people. Wait, wait a minute. I thought y'all had allies. But the thing is, the game done change. See, you can't just reach out to the churches and to the sororities. That doesn't work. You can't insult people. That doesn't work. Any, that doesn't work. You have to go into the streets because that's you have to go into the streets. You got to go deep in the paint and get the reaction. What people want. You know, what do they demand? Democrats need a whole new strategy. And what they did during this campaign wasn't working. And I knew it wasn't going to work. You got to go on the streets. You can't run on just on abortion. And that's what it was. Oh, women's right to choose. And that is a slippery slope. Oh, women's right is my body, my choice. The whole Democrat Party needs a shake up. It needs a shake up from the ground up. There's no longer you can just go into the church and reach out to voters. You got to reach out to everybody. You got to reach out to the young ones on the street. You need a Democratic candidate that is going to relate to the people. That is going to relate to the people. You can't do. There's no more status quo. You need somebody that's going to relate to the people. Is going to, that's going to be in the grassroots and is going to be in the paint. That's what they need. Forget them church, I'm, the churches, and all of that. The older generation, they're always going to vote Democrat. But now you have to reach a new level of voters. You have to reach them because a lot of people, you know. Reparations, hate crime bill, and then Roland Martin said, oh, it's, oh, black people have a hate crime bill. Stop, stop, stop. If people are talking about reparations, hey, you got to take a look at that. Got to take a look at it. If you want a Democrat to win in 2028, then you're going to have to start, it's going to be a whole big shakeup. And you have to go into the streets, deep in the paint, and talk to the people on the streets and ask them what they want. And you have to demand that they pull through. And if they don't pull through, they're not going to vote for them. But, yeah. Very, very sad day for a lot of people yesterday. And I've said this. The next day you still have to live your life. You got to go to work. Got to put food on the table. You got to take care of your kids. You got to take care of your husband. You got to take care of your wife. You got to take care of your family. 
okay? Some people going nuts over this. It's just, you know, it's just going overboard. Yes, she lost. You might be disappointed. Okay. I, I get it. But you know what? Life goes on. And you can't sit here and stop your life. You can't sit here being scared. You got to live your life. And we'll see what happens. And that's all I will say. We'll see what happens. Um, for more, more insightful videos, um, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, comment and like. Peace.